Hi everybody, I wanted to take a few minutes and explain a little bit more about antibodies for COVID-19 because it's getting so much attention. It's gonna be so important in the next few weeks, months, or longer, and it can be complicated. So antibody testing for COVID-19 is a way that we will be able to test for past infection. This is really not meant to diagnose active infection. So when you talk about a curve, for antibodies or serology in the field of immunology, you'll see a curve that looks like this. Along the y-axis is what we call titers. You can think of that as the number or level or amount of antibodies in your blood that your body makes. Down here is time. So the first thing that goes along the timeline is when you've been exposed to an infection and when your symptoms start. So we're gonna use red for COVID-19. In terms of time, what we know at this point is that the average onset of symptoms is five days after exposure. It can be as short as one day or as long as 14 days. So let's say this is five days after exposure, but zero days in time, okay? So day zero. The first antibody that appears in our blood, and I'm gonna use green, is an antibody known as IgM. So we start to see that antibody level go up, and we don't really know when it comes down, all right? This, these are the new antibodies. You can think of IgM as the first antibodies on the scene. Typically, we can start to see those as early as five days, after onset of symptoms, okay? The next antibody that appears is the important one that everyone is talking about with COVID-19, and that's called IgG. So we're gonna use orange for IgG. Okay. That's the antibody that in general, we think tells us if someone has an old exposure or infection. We think that that can start to appear in the blood as early as 10 or 12 days. Okay, what we don't know though is how long that, that antibody level will last. The other thing we don't know, and when you talk about antibodies, this is really important. When you've heard people say, we don't know whether or not we'll be immune to antibodies, antibodies look like a Y, right? And they recognize a protein, let's say on the surface of the coronavirus. Let's say those spike proteins on the surface. So if the antibody recognizes this spike protein, then we call that high affinity and that has a greater chance of protecting us down the road for some period of time. We don't know when. We don't know whether it'll be six months. We don't know whether it'll be a year or possibly even more than a year. However, your body still can make an antibody in response to coronavirus that doesn't block or neutralize the virus so you can still be infected again. So let's say that antibody makes recognizes a part on that virus that's not the spike protein, that may be a low affinity antibody, meaning it's not, an, it's not really a good blocker or neutralizer of future infection or exposure to that virus. So when you look at these titer levels or the amount, it is possible to have high titers and low affinity. It's also possible to have low titers and high affinity. So when you hear experts like Dr. Burks and Dr. Fauci saying, we're not sure whether this antibody, IgG, will protect us long-term, they're really talking about whether or not the antibody can block or neutralize the virus in the future. We also don't know what time period this antibody will stay detectable in our blood. So this is antibodies 101. This is the field of immunology or serology when it comes to exposure to COVID-19, and there is a lot we don't know here. The last thing I wanna leave you with is when you look at this timeline, you can see because each of these things happens along a different time period, 
if you test someone here and they haven't started to make antibodies yet, you're gonna get a negative result on your serology test. If you test someone here and they're only started to make IgM but not IgG, you're only gonna get up one positive antibody. Whereas if you test someone here, you'll get both IgM and IgG. So when you test someone is as very, very important. So I hope this helped. Stay tuned for another uh, COVID-19 session soon. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.